All right, we got another historic, sorta hidden mall video for you today. If you saw my Meadowdale mall video, which not too many have, yeah, that video kind of unfortunately turned out to be a flop. I'm kind of sad about that because I put a lot of effort into that, combining it with the raceway, but yeah, it hasn't done well in the algorithm. Today, we are in Villa Park, Illinois, at this pretty, ordinary-looking shopping center at the corner of North Avenue, Illinois State Route 64, and Addison Street. North Park Plaza, that, once upon a time, starting in 1973, was North Park Mall. Yep, Villa Park at a mall and I actually visited it unlike the Meadowdale Mall a very small one but there was indeed an official mall inside here now this wasn't a wood field or anything like that but there was indeed a hallway inside this shopping center with various stores that you can access from the inside there have been various anchors through the years including JCPenney, Dominic's, Kmart, and even an Ames. For a very short time, in 2001, when Ames re-entered the Chicagoland market. And that's basically the last thing I remember about this shopping center is going to the Ames with my mom. And it was during that period, in 2001, maybe a little bit earlier as well, that I did walk the indoor portion of this mall with my mom. And way back then, it was a dead mall. Yeah, it was a dead mall before dead malls were cool. Luminal space, backroom vibes, it had it all. Yeah, I remember it being super quiet, I remember being the only one besides my mom walking through there. I remember really dark tiled floors, really dark walls. And one thing that stood out to me in particular were the actual shops. Each shop, their store logo or whatever, was in this square sign that hung from the wall and each sign was lit up. Even back then, before I knew I'd be into malls and retail stuff, I thought the whole vibe of this place was pretty cool. Now once they pretty much gave up on the whole it being a mall, of course it eventually changed its name to North Park Plaza, this shopping center has been restructured, rebuilt, modernize that sort of thing but thanks to one place the five star indoor swap mart you can see a very small portion of the original indoor mall complete with all those retro looking vibes that i mentioned and yeah that foreman mills over there that used to be the ames I don't really remember much about any of the other acres, but yeah, that used to be the Ames. The last Ames in my hometown area, that is for sure. Now visiting the mall, or what's left of it, is kind of tricky because you got to head here when the spot mart is actually open. But that's not the trickiest part because I really don't know what the filming policy is here. You know, swap marts, auction places can be kind of funny, filming vendors, stuff like that, so I don't know what to expect. People have filmed inside here and put it on YouTube before, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we will have some luck. I am going to be as discreet as possible. I will check out some of the swap mart, but I really want to document this mall history here is a piece of my past and if this spot mart ever closes down that will likely be the end of the north park mall so 
I really need to get this documented on my channel. Now that we're done with that backstory, let's get inside. Like I said, there's not a ton left of the original mall, but I will show you what I can. I am generally a little nervous about this because I really want to be able to show you guys this place. It's really cool. It's <laughs> a bunch of cool like neon lights as well inside, yeah. Just screams of retro vibes. So far, so good. Pretty big swap mark, that's for sure. Saw some arcade games on the other side. This place is pretty cool too. Even though, to be completely honest, I'm not quite the demographic. If it's not obvious that it's a 10 to 2 shop here. <laughs> Little video game section. That's cool. Little Mario display up there. Arcade one up, I guess. I saw some arcade games around here. I don't know where it is now. Chicago merch. Oh, here they are. Got a Cruise in the World, Miss Pac Man. Oh, there's some classic stuff here. Another Miss Pac Man. I don't know if these guys are for sale. Little sticker, too. Now, I don't know what used to be here in relation to the original mall, but basically that little hallway that we first walked into, that was the original mall. And you should have seen the signs, you know, there's not really anything on them anymore, but as you can see, the signs are still intact. As well as, obviously, the original dark flooring. But we're going to take another quick walk through there. I love the old neon lights. <laughs> you can almost see, you can see some signs here though for those businesses right there, yeah. 
this would be one of the original mall hallways as well. Nothing really over here now except for storage. But yeah, look at the dark hall, dark flooring. Yeah, this is what I remember. Continues this way too, but it's basically blocked off. There's those square signs. Pretty cool. <laughs> Like I said, the bricked wall. Yep. That's original. I should show this as well because I suspect that this is the original part of the mall as well. But yeah, it kind of just ends there, but yeah. Hope you get a kind of an idea what this North Park Mall used to look like. And there you go, one last look at the historic North Park Mall and all its beautiful neon and brick retro beauty. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it, but that was a success. Yeah, outside of a side look or two from a few vendors, no security. We have successfully documented another historic mall at Memories by Wayne. Now, I would love to hear in the comments below if you remember when this was actually more of an official mall. Like I said, my memories of this place are when it was already well into its dead mall phase. But I suspect that a few of you that might be a little older than me might remember when this mall had a little more hustle and bustle to it. Make sure to check out our retail and mall playlist. Hey, go check out that Meadowdale Mall video that I did over in Carpentersville. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.